Hey, what's up, guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to another Call of the Wild video on my channel here today. At the beginning of 2020, I did a little beginner's guide for Call of the Wild to help out all of you new players that come to the game within that year. So we have a whole new year here. We are on 2021. And since I did my last beginner's guides video, there's been new DLC added to the game. There's been changes. Yeah, I just want to make a, re a refreshing little quick guide just to help out a lot of you new players i know christmas just passed so there's been a lot more players that have uh, came to the game that actually got the game for christmas so i think making a little quick start a uh, quick guide or whatever for 2021 will be a pretty good idea and hopefully it'll help a lot of you guys out so the first thing i want to go over really quickly just to get it out of the way and i'm pretty sure whenever you first start out playing call of the wild it doesn't even tell you this stuff so the hood down in the corner it can be kind of confusing obviously you can tell you know you have like your selected items uh you have your ability and stuff right there which you will get later on with skills and perks you have the heart icon that little circle thing that changes from like a line and a half circle uh and as i move it gets bigger and then you have like the volume icon some of that's pretty self-explanatory but the one there in the middle can probably confuse you a little bit so i'm gonna go over that really quickly you can see I'm at full sprint here in the middle of the open, and that is a full circle. That means I am completely visible to animals, and they can see me just fine. Now, if I stop, you can see it's just a line with a half circle, which means, you know, I guess you're sort of hidden, but not really. The animals will still see you and just take off. You crouch, it's a line. That's a little better there. You can definitely have animals come in a little bit closer with just the straight white line there. But if I crawl into this bush here, that, that line will basically turn almost invisible just a very small gray line and that means that you're almost 100 percent hidden if an animal gets right up on you obviously they're going to see you and smell you and they're going to take off running but you can get animals pretty close you know 10 15 yards and uh, they won't even see you as long as you have a good wind and you might be wondering well how do you tell which direction the wind is blowing well if you look there on that compass the little green arrow whichever way that arrow is facing is the direction the wind is blowing so the wind is blowing to the southeast and if i go basically northwest i'm going to be walking into the wind which is generally what you want if the wind is going that way they're going to be able to smell you very easily wind is very very important in this game especially if you're trying to be stealthy now before i move on to the next tip i do want to talk about in the description i will have listed my noob guide series a couple months ago i did a whole little series going over things for new players i have all sorts of videos in there i'll leave them all listed in the description one by one i have videos on the best skills and perks certain types of weapon guides like the bow the 243 and things like that so those will be very very useful as a beginner as well so go check them out they'll be listed in the description now in call of the wild there is quite a handful of dlcs none of these dlcs are really required to play the game but i definitely recommend you spending some money on some dlcs once you get the chance and a few dlcs that i recommend are the silver ridge peaks map you get a whole variety of animals on there if you go if you want to look it up and click on the description it'll just tell you everything that's listed and some of these maps actually come with a gun that you can actually you know buy with in-game money so that's just an added bonus i recommend you get verhonga savannah it has lions and all kinds of cool african species over there on that map the wild goose chase dlc is really cool and really good for a new player because it is super easy money i also have a whole goose hunting guide on my channel that actually has done really well and a lot of people have found it useful though so if i remember i'll leave that linked in the description as well so the goose chase dlc by far one of the best DLCs in the game because it comes with some cool weapons, some cool equipment, and goose hunting is really good money. I recommend you get weapon pack 2 and 3. Each weapon pack has about 3 or 4 weapons in it. Weapon pack 2 I recommend you get because it has the Mosin Nagant in there, a beautiful weapon, very good for many different species on this game. And weapon pack 3 has the Ekers 30-06, a very powerful rifle very accurate just an overall good rifle and it's definitely better than a lot of the default guns that we have in the game currently and the last dlc that i recommend you buy is the smoking barrels weapon pack just a really cool one has muzzle loader and an m1 grand and i actually can't remember the other weapon that came in that pack i, I don't know if there was anymore but i know that it came with the m1 grand a very cool iconic rifle and a really cool um old school style muzzle loader which is also really cool to have in the game you might be asking yourself, what's the goal of the hunter call of the wild? What do you do? Just run around and just shoot random animals 
Well, yeah, you can do that, but some people, including myself, like to focus on hunting diamonds and a diamond is basically the rarest trophy animal that you can get in this game every single animal species has a diamond i'll pull a chart up on the screen right now some animals go from level one to level three very easy which level three would be a diamond some animals go from level one to level five which the level five would be a diamond and some animals go from level one to level nine and the level nine would be a diamond and that is one of the biggest grinds for this game. That's what keeps people coming. Some people set themselves a goal to go kill a diamond elk. And it might take you hours. It might take you days and sometimes even weeks to find one. And once you kill one, you can take them and mount them in your trophy lodge, which I should have mentioned in the recommended DLC part that I was talking about. I would definitely recommend either getting the Spring Creek Manor Lodge or the Saseka Safari Lodge. Uh, just because whenever you kill a nice trophy animal, such as some kind of rare, like an albino or a piebald, things along those lines or a diamond then you can mount them in there and always come back and take a look and remember exactly when you shot that animal well that's pretty much all i'm going to go over in this video like i said i have a whole list of videos that are going to be listed in the description that will help you out with anything else i would rather split them up into multiple videos rather than just have one really long video of just a bunch of stuff just because it can get a little bit boring if it's just a bunch of things into one video so whatever you need to look for you know such as you're trying to find out the best perks trying to figure out how hunting pressure works things like that it'll all be listed in the description to help you guys out so hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already let me know if this video helps you out at all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one later